Hi, thanks for coming back to my channel. My name is Jane, and I'm here today to give you the must-haves for post-op, all-on-four, all-on-five dental implant um, surgery. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I have, which is uh, something that I used every single day after surgery, was this neck pillow. I have never used one of these before, but I happened to pick it up a couple of weeks before I had surgery thinking that it might um, work out really well. So um, this was so valuable after surgery. Um, it helped me to support obviously myself, my face, um, kind of a little bit of protection for my face, particularly if I was laying down in bed and on pillows and then this just gave me that little bit of extra cushion i still am using this uh to this day um and as of tomorrow i will be five weeks post-op so this was the number one thing that i would recommend anybody have um loved this it worked great the second thing is ice you need to be icing all the time um, it's really going to help your uh, swelling go down. And I'm sorry if my camera is shaking. As you can see, this little girl right here, her name is Allie Bean, is uh, all over the place today. So my apologies if my camera is shaking a little bit. She is the cause. Um, okay, let me get back to it here. Um, your eyes. So... I love my surgeon. I love my surgeon's office. Um, everything they have done for me thus far, I've been super happy with. The only thing that I felt is the absolute worst and the most like janky thing that I received from them is this. This was for the um, ice packs to go in. And let me tell you something. So I guess you you would have put the ice pack inside of here. There's just a little, a really, really small sleeve. So maybe they're designed for loose ice. I don't think so though, because these leak. As soon as the ice starts um, melting a little bit or the ice pack and there's moisture on it, it starts leaking and it got all over me the first night. It was awful. Um, my husband kept changing it out and it was just a mess. Second thing is um, putting it on over your head. Let me tell you something. It, I didn't realize until like two days after surgery that I had been doing it wrong the whole time too. So, um, here is the, it goes on like this. So you put the, put the ice in here on both sides that goes over your head. And then you, um, have some Velcro here to keep it on, on the top. This is the stupidest thing I ever used, I swear. It did not work. It leaked. It is so janky and cheap. I wish they would have told me in advance what this was because I would have purchased something else. I know that there's got to be other things like this at CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, um, Amazon. Um, there's got to be some other options. I never even really thought about it. Um, I just got, you know, because they said that they would provide one. And this is what it was. So for my $45,000 in cash, this five cent piece of junk, that is my my biggest complaint. Um, Cause this just didn't work out very well. However, I will say that when you're putting the ice packs on your face and trying to keep them on there, this is perfect too, because when I would uh, sit back in bed, I would place the ice packs right here. And this basically held um, the ice packs in place. So that was really helpful too. So again, this uh, came in clutch during that time. This was perfect. Um, so janky little ice pack thing. Try peas, try a bag of frozen peas. That'll work too. Next thing on my list is a lip product. And I'm talking a really good lip product. This one is a little pricey. This is the Laneige or Laneige. Um, this comes from Sephora. However, I used this non-stop and you can still see that there's a good amount left in this container. I think these are $22 at Sephora. Um, they are a sleeping mask. Now, my lips split 
uh, the corners were split wide open, bleeding, sore, uh, chapped. I put this on constantly, kept this in my bed right next to me. My husband and my mom who was here um, at my house um, kept putting this in my hand so that I always had it with me and I just continuously kept putting this on over and over and over again. And um, when I went a couple days, I guess three days later to my post-op appointment, even my surgeon said, wow, your lips look really good um, in comparison with others that I've seen. And um, I contribute or attribute this uh, right here. If you can't afford this or you don't have um, access to this, then, um, you know, certainly use something like an Aquaphor or um, anything, anything, you can get, uh, Vaseline, straight up Vaseline, you can get that anywhere. Very, very inexpensive, just throw it on your lips. Make sure you're doing that regularly though, because you need it. Um, next thing on my list, you know what? My dog grabbed my list, hold on one second. Of course she stole it from me. Um, she's gotta be involved in everything. Okay, um, other must-haves, paper towels. I used a lot of paper towels to keep just dabbing my mouth the first couple of days. I was slobbering a lot, I had a lot of blood. So those were really valuable to do that. Um, and then hand towels. Um, of course, you don't want to get your good hand towels, you know, stained with blood or anything like that. So um, just if you have some, it's helpful because the paper towels actually are a little bit rough when you have very sore lips. So, um, but it's good. It was helpful. I just, kept, I was drooling a lot. So I would drool into the paper towel and then I could just um, throw that away. Uh, water, water, lots and lots and lots of hydration. Please, I know it's hard to drink at first. Um, it was for me, but a lot of water, that's gonna be super important for your healing. You need to have pillows in your bed to sit you up. I am fortunate. I have an adjustable bed, so I was able to sit up and I sat up to sleep for probably two weeks. Um, with, again, the neck pillow around my neck. Um, but you want to have plenty of pillows that you can prop yourself up. Also, that's going to really help with the swelling as well as the blood um, from getting all over the place too when you slobber. Um, number one, no, number one, really. I said this is number one. I said this is number one. All of these are. Honestly, they're all um, super important, but the number one thing is rest. Please make sure you're getting plenty of rest. That is your body um, healing. And if you're not resting and sleeping and just taking it easy, um, it's gonna take you a lot longer. And you might risk even some implant failure. And you don't wanna do that after you've done, you've gone through all this, you've gone through the pain, you've gone through the time and the expense. Um, don't risk your implants failing. Please get some rest. Don't go outside and do gardening um, two days after surgery. It's not good for you. You're gonna swell like crazy. My doctor even said after 48 hours, like 48, 72 hours, that's when you're really gonna see the swelling. And, and I did. And um, so you wanna make sure that you're just resting and, and being comfortable so that you can minimize your swelling. Um, Food products, just a little bonus here, just some food. I, I brought some in here by my desk to kind of show you visually. Sometimes that helps, but um, you want to have protein drinks. And this is a great one. It is so tasty. Um, there is 150 calories, but 30 grams of protein in this Fair Life. Um, it is not the, the milk, but it's the Fair Life. Uh, protein. Make sure you get that. You can get this at Costco. Uh, buy it by the case. You can get it at uh, the grocery store, um, Amazon. So it's readily available. It's not terribly um, out of reach as far as cost goes. And it's really important to make sure you're getting this because you're not going to be really eating enough to get um, the daily amount of protein you need for healing. So I recommend that. Chocolate or vanilla. Um, I think they have strawberry too. So try that. Um, I had bone, uh, bone broth, um, any kind of broth that, that you like, um, is excellent. 
jello, pudding, um, yogurt. Those were all high on the list for the first week or two. The other thing, after a few days, I couldn't eat it right away for sure. It took me probably a good week or so before I could manage this. And that is like a macaroni and cheese. And I just wanted convenience. So I got the Bob Evans. This brand is phenomenal. I'm not a macaroni and cheese eater normally, but this is very tasty. Uh, this is like a family size, um, but you can portion this out. But I also got the uh, individual size ones. Um, they come in a small, small ramekin as a single serving. Makes it really convenient. Uh, Bob Evans also has really tasty uh, mashed potatoes. So you could try those too. Another thing along the lines of um, protein is just a whey protein. You can make a shake out of this with whatever liquid you like. If you choose water, um, regular milk, cow's milk, um, you know, um, alternative milk like almond milk, cashew milk, um, coconut milk, all very tasty in it. Um, this for one scoop is 170 calories. And uh, what's the protein on this one? 30 grams of protein. So 170 calories on that one and 150 calories on that one. Um, typically, you're not going to be eating enough food to worry too much about your calorie count. Later down the road, you want to pay attention to that maybe. Um, but again, this is another really good choice. This um, is strawberry smoothie flavor, and it's pretty tasty. Uh, also, you know, anything else that's just soft, just make sure you're not chewing too much putting too much pressure on those implants, or as I have in my case, the implants on the bottom and then the temporary denture on the top. Make sure you're taking care of your, your teeth, but definitely get your nutrition in. It's the only way that you're gonna heal. The last thing I would uh, really recommend is a high quality uh, vitamin. Um, so that can be, you know, an, a, a multivitamin that you take just once a day. It could be individual vitamins, some of the vitamin packs that you might get with multiple different types of vitamins in them. Um, I definitely recommend supplements. Make sure that you're taking them. Uh, it's gonna help you heal. It's gonna help the success of your implants um, and it's gonna help to make you feel better in the long run. All right, so that's all I got for today. I hope that helped. Um, those are the items that were most important to me. If I think of anything else, I'll certainly let you know. Um, but that's it for today. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, leave me a comment or a question if you have one. And I'll see you next time.